What's up everyone? How are we doing? Billy Eilish. Hit me hard and soft. Is that the name? Hit me hard and soft. New album came out a couple of days ago. Uh, I haven't heard a single second of it. I have no idea what it's going to sound like. I'm very excited to get into it. I'm very on the go at the moment. That's why the lighting is weird. I didn't bring my laptop, so I'm actually listening to this uh, off of my Switch, which is connected to some speakers, which I will be using to do the reaction. And because of that, I don't have the track list, so I've written it down on the back of a paracetamol box. I don't know if you can see it. I've written it down on there so that I know which song to click on next. <laughs> the production value of this channel is insane, as you can see. Track one, Skinny. Okay. I'm actually really excited for this. I love Billie Eilish a lot. She's 21. album cover is really cool. It's like her falling through a door, going down into water. It's weird. Very soft scene, which, which she does a lot. I like that. with her friend. Relaxing. This is really relaxing. Okay, that was track one. Oh. Oh my god, wait, wait, it's gonna transition. Okay, that's cool. It transitions into the next song. It was a slow start, but it's sort of setting the mood. I feel like I'm in a Billie Eilish album right now. So I think it's set the mood quite well. This actually isn't that long of an album. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only ten songs, I think, 40 minutes long, which I actually really like. I think a lot of the time artists try and like extend their albums like as long as possible, which doesn't really work. I think this will work well here. The next song, which is Lunch.
this is good. This this is the single, right? This sounds like a hit. Like that. Uh, <laughs> that. That song reminds me of um, Blow My Whistle by Flo Rida. It's a similar similar concept. Like Harry Styles-esque. You know, uh, Harry's House. That reminds me of a song for Harry's House. I don't know which one though. Um, but yeah, it's a good little, nice little vibe from Billie Eilish. It's also a much like happier song from Billie Eilish, which is quite rare. A lot of them are quite like, you know, sad. But this one's quite like a... I'm saying this so, I'm longing this sentence out so much, I don't know why. But yeah, this one's got like a more upbeat vibe, which is rare sometimes, except for like Bad Guy, I guess. That was track two, which is the hit. This album was built for success. Track three, Ch Chihiro? Chihiro? Chiro? Chiro? God, I can do it with the Chiro right now. <laughs>
was sick. Wow, that was really cool. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what Chihiro is. Ch Chihiro? Chihiro? I imagine I'm just saying it the wrong way like the whole video. <laughs> that would be so annoying. Yeah, that's a nice little vibe that one. And then it turned into some fucking like crazy, you know, dance, psychedelic dream. I don't know. The synths at the end. Those synths at the end were crazy. Yeah, that was really sick. Track four. I've got it written down as birds, but I don't know what the full title is. Birds of a feather. Oh, I want you to stay. Wait. It's a dance pop. I don't think I've heard this sound thing before. Not like, not like this. Okay, I really like this. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. I need to pause it because I know it's about to, this this chorus is about to be insane. I just figured something out. She just says, "If I'm turning blue, don't save me." The last song on this album is called Blue. So, basically, she does turn blue, and whoever this person is she's talking to did not say that. Just little sign I noticed. Smart like that. That voice sounds much better than I think it has in the past. I mean, it was always really, really good, but like, I like the way that she's singing it. Maybe it's just the tone. What? I see why people have been gassing this album out now. I've only seen like positive things, even from you guys as well. I want you to see. Is my favorite yet yeah, that might be my favorite over Chihiro oh <laughs> sorry I probably shouldn't put uh, videos of me making those types of sound on the internet <laughs> birds of a feather that is my favorite track so far I know everyone's gassing up uh Chihiro and I like Chihiro a lot if I actually wait do I like it better I don't know I like birds of the feather the most that's my favorite on this album so far and I bet that song is gonna go like underrated. I don't think that's gonna blow up as much as the others, which is just, which is fine to be fair. Because numbers, honestly, in music, numbers don't really matter that much. Like I'm not even gonna lie. As much as lunch is like a nice little banger, I'm sure I'm like a hundred, a hundred percent sure that this song, Birds of a Feather, and Chihiro and Skin took like 
10 times the amount of time and, and effort to make than lunch did. I bet lunch was made like, obviously there's still a lot of effort put into it, but I bet lunch just sort of like flowed out, whereas these other ones just sort of like, it was just so much thought and everything put into them. That's just like how music works. Next song is called Wildflower. like that that one just kept like building and then it stopped and then it came back in that was cool i was sort of just like lost in that one i can't lie i was just like just feeling it you know just like you know i was just like i was just feeling the vibes you know like <laughs> that was so cringe <laughs> track number six the greatest to keep you satisfied This reminds me of old Billy Eilish Like, get your so, so like Ocean Eyes vibes You know what I mean? Yeah. 
like to talk. While this out of place, I'm gonna make the phone. 72 hour protection. Rated 4.8 stars out of 5 by consumers on Dove.com. Upgrade to Dove Advanced Care. I wish you the best for... Yeah. <clears throat> wow. That was this year what I wanted. I wanted it to get massive, you know. I wanted to just get really big. Uh, and I knew Billy Irish could do that for me. Man, am I the greatest. Yeah, Billy. You are the greatest. Actually, that's kind of hard to say. I don't know. There's a lot of greats out there, but Billy Eilish, you are. Th th this album is really good so far. Imagine if it's just like shit from now on. Like the next song is just like it's like Billy Eilish just like farting into the mic or some shit. Like, ooh. Okay, okay, we got a bit of pronunciation here. Is everyone ready? The next track is called <coughs> L'Amour de Ma Vie. I wish you the best for the rest of your life. You know, she sounds a bit like Adele sometimes. You when I look in your eyes, but I'm sometimes not that often. <laughs> oh my god, what was the line? Sounds like it's from the perspective of the other person from the last song.
sort of voice there. I really like it. That ending. Shocking me, we're given a free holiday. That, that second half, when that beat switched, that was insane. That that might be my favorite moment on the album so far. I'm not sure if it's my favorite song though, because I really like Birds of a Feather. Now nah, that might be my favorite song. I actually don't know. I think they're all really good. I think this is Billy Eilish's best work. I can't lie. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go to uh, let's go to the diner. <laughs> What the fuck? her memorizing the number. Ooh. Creepy, creepy song. Diner. The diner is like a <laughs> it's like a it's like a Billy Eilish villain theme song, you know. It's like her planning her like revenge on a guy who's who who is the new boyfriend of the girl that she wants, I think creative as well like I, I didn't really know anything that 
sounds like that kind of soundscape, you know, it's cool. But will I like bit of sweet? That is the question. It sounds like I will already. This. This sounds like Mike Dean has done some work with this, but I don't think he has. This I didn't want that one to end, I wanted it to come back in, but damn, man, there's only one song left! <laughs> Fuck! Oh shit, this has been really, really fucking good. This has been really good. I just like the way that they're using the sounds, and it's just different, and it's just, it all flows together, it feels like we're underwater, like a lot of the time. Fuck! Blue. <laughs> quite a long song as well which I'm quite happy about but it's the last one which is so <laughs> Everything fucking together. 
sad, but it's not like depressing sad, it's like... I guess that was Hit Me Hard and Soft, which the title actually makes sense now musically because, you know, we sort of get these like soft chill moments and we get these like hard hitting like, oh shit, this was a good album. This is a really good album. I'm going to be listening to this for a long time, I can tell. I prefer this over anything she's done before. It just makes me think, I feel like she's only going to get better and better because she's already been like making music for a long time, like, you know, with mainstream success so that's crazy that's really good i have to say my favorites are probably fuck i don't even know i like the whole thing maybe Leo more de la vie might be my favorite oh i like the diner though the, i like chihiro like this sweet great album <laughs> short as well like it's so short and sweet like I don't know, it's just really well made. You can tell, it's just a lot of love has gone into that. And like real life love as well. She sounds pretty heartbroken. So uh, sorry to be that harsh about that one. I say that as if it was me. I mean, just like, you know, that's quite deep. So sorry that she went through that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. Don't click off just because I said that. Come on, there's like 20 seconds left. You can keep watching till the end. Uh, I should have had something to say after I said that. If you guys are still watching at this minute and you haven't clicked off, then that's that's really good. Well done. Good job. I do reactions to a lot of different artists, uh, similar to Billie Eilish and like all sorts on here. Check those out. I make my own music as well, so you can tell me if you think it's better than this album. It's probably not, but it's still pretty good. So, you know, you might be able to find some enjoyment in that. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.